so this will be the knob so here you will give the knob you will mention the range like a 1000 volt 100 volt 10 volt 1 volt then this side it will be ampere it will measure 10 ampere 5 ampere 1 ampere then 10 milliampere then this side it will be ohms anything of order 1 ohm 10 ohm 100 ohm 1 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm 10 mega ohm this is called like a multimeter this is a display here it will be there and and it will be like this this is a knob just by rotating knob what happen you can change the its range this is a range you can see that one and also you can convert that from voltmeter to ammeter, ohm meter, it's having various functions. That's why it's called multimeter. Uh, this last in the semiconductor chapters, I'm going to discuss this. So just by rotating knob, what happened? I should vary the range. Uh, till now the circuit, what we discuss, every time if you want to change the range, what happened? The sh value of shunt should be increased, no? Should be varied. Here it's not like that. We are not going to disturb the circuit just by rotating the knob the range of emitter should change. For that, I should construct a circuit here. I'm, I'm going to pick up a, a galvanometer of <coughs> 1 milliampere and let this be equal to 10 ohm. The galvanometer resistance. So it should be, its range should be increased to what? 10, milli, 10 milliampere, 100 milliampere, 1 ampere. So then this will be the, our circuit. Uh, he is asking now to propose that I, I will move down I will move down So this will be the construction and here is what the current which was supposed to be measured will be like this. Now let these be the resistance R1, R2. Now the this will be the various range x, y, z. Now what is the basic idea of the emitter as the range? As the range increases, the value of shunt should decrease here. In the range this one. So what is the range of this one milliampere? So I'll, I'll put the range of this will be say ten milliampere. This will be. 10 milliampere. This let this be equal to 1 milliampere. Let this be equal to 1 ampere. 1000 milliampere will become 1 milliampere. So first let me give the arrow. This is a knob. Okay, there's a knob. Let the knob be located. So here is what the 10 milliampere current will enter. So I'll call this as say I1. What is I1? I1 will be 10 milliampere and the same I1 should return. So how much of current will flow here? Ig. So here I1 minus Ig. This 
this will be IG and the total current I1 will live from negative terminal. Okay, fine. So these are the knobs. This is a galvanometer. Okay, how do this? I'll call this circuit is now multi range emitter here. So as I rotate the knob, as I rotate the knob, where is the knob now? The current 10 milliampere, which has to be measured. So what happened will pass through here, will flow like this. Your pen will branch out I1 minus G and this will be IG. Then it will be I1. So let's write the equation. So we don't know the value of R1, R2. It has to be determined. The first thing for range 0 to 10 milliampere. This is what I want. Okay, now what is the equation? How these two resistances are? They are in the same current will flow. Current IG will flow through the galometer. So therefore, the equation will be I1 minus IG into R1 plus R2 plus R3 is equal to IG into G. So we don't know what are unknown things. R1 plus R2, R3. So let me solve this. R1 plus R2, R3. IG into G. So this should be 10 milliampere, 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3. I1 is how much? 10 into, uh, this is, yeah. I1 is 10 into 10 to the power of minus 3, 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So this will be 10 by 9. Keep it this equation 1. Similarly, now I'll move the knob to the Y. When I move knob to the Y, how much the range will become now? 0 to 100 milliampere. Well, if you got the setup, so the, 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 the basic idea of multi-range emitter. So why the why we are choosing excess tensor? Like why don't you choose one hundred and this as? Why, why not the this to be in the reverse thing? Because what is the basic idea? As the range increases, the value of shunt should decrease. You can see in the next circuit. I'll draw it here. I'll not show that X, only let me show Y. So the current I2, the, the norm, I2 equal to 100 milliampere and this is the norm. So what is the value of Y? Y is 100 milliampere. So the value of I2 will flow here, no? This will be I2. The same, I'm not going to disturb the resistances. What were the resistances values? It was R3, R2, this is R1. So this I2 now, it will branch out, this has IG. How much of current here should be? I2 minus IG. This will be I2. Look at the point here now, it will branch out. So let, let's write, looking at this equation, how, how now that R1 and G will be parallel. No? You look at this current now, this I2 will branch out, I2 minus G and IG. This IG will flow through galometer like this. So what is the current through R1 and the galometer will be same. So therefore, this shows that they are in series. They are in series. So now we'll write the equation now. So this should be equal to uh, the current I2 minus IG into G R2 plus R3 should be equal to IG into R1 plus G. I2 is how much? It's 100 milliampere minus this. This will be 90 milliampere.
equal to this will be Ig is 1 million ampere 1 into 10 to the power of 3 it should be 99 99 yeah 99 r1 g is 10 ohm so r2 plus r3 equal to r1 plus 10 by 99 or or 99 r1 99 r3 is equal to this is the equation Okay, the circuit is very important. As the range increases, the value of shunt should decrease here. So earlier, R1 plus R2 plus R3 was in parallel with the galometer. Now, R1 plus R2 will be parallel. So further, next the range will be uh, 1 ampere. I3 is 1 ampere. Here that 1 ampere will come out. So this will be I3. <coughs> IG. IG and this is IG. So the resistance values R1, R2, this is R3. So how much of current here? Here will be IG current. So here it will be I3 minus IG and how much of current will come out here? I3. So look at the range, the range we are at 1 ampere. Now the equation for this it should be R3 I3 minus IG into R3 is equal to R1 R2 plus R1 plus G into IG. I3 is 1 ampere, so 1000 milliampere. Minus 1, 1 milliampere. So this will be 900, 999 R3 is equal to R1 plus R2 plus 10. So solving 1, 2, 3, we'll get the required answer. Three unknowns are there, then that particular thing. So this, this is a knob now. Look at the total construction. We need not to change often the resistance, the shunt value. Just rotating the knob, the range will change. By rotating knob, the range of emitter is varied. Okay, now these are analog. Huh? Now what we are in a digital world, even we are not using them. If you check the multimeter, you open it, no, you don't see any galvanometer, you don't see anything. You just see only registers. We are using a digital meters, not analog. What we're discussing is analog. This world long back got over. When I was studying, the digital was just growing. The cost of uh, an analog meters it was around say like 800 rupees. The digital meters, what happened? The cost was 5,000 rupees. They were very costly. The digital multimeter. The analog multimeter was only this much. Now what happened? You know the cost of digital multimeter, 250 rupees. You can buy it, or oh, sorry, 125. A low color one will be available. You can order in Amazon also. Rapid changes. But here you don't you open this digital meters, no? You open digital meter. You don't see anything, galometer, nothing will be there. Just only registers. Very less resistance. That's why you, you just hold it, it will be very light. It will be lighter than your notebook. 
the compass box but it will perform so many operations multimeter no almost around 15 operations you can perform it so we are in analog world long back almost you can say some uh, you can put it around 70 years old this is what we are discussing a at that time this was the trend no no longer we are nobody is manufacturing this also so only after i think another 20 years you can see all such things in science museum <laughs> 125 rupees it's all about digital multimeter you open it and you don't see anything what i discussed nothing totally different circuit <laughs> just with the registers i can measure the voltage that's what the digital technology okay no? so there's about the values so you you do calculate later on hmm? there's this one substituting r1 r2 r3 values no calculating we'll get the multi-range ammeter similarly how to construct multi-range voltmeter multi-range voltmeter network uh, again uh, we are very sure what is that as the range increases the resistance to be connected in series must increase so therefore here 